You know, any good Bible story calls for a little bit of a snack, don't you think? And nothing beats a, a great sandwich. And, and so what's the first thing that you need when building a great sandwich? Well, well of course, well, well, let's do this. You need, you need a little, little roast beef. That's the first thing that you need when building a great sandwich. And maybe a little bit of a, a lettuce on top. And, and of course, some, some tomatoes. What's it without tomatoes? But, but it feels like it's kind of missing something, doesn't it? Yeah, what, what do you think it's missing? Oh, that's right. Maybe, maybe a little turkey slice as well. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. Is, what's it missing? Oh, okay. I got the, well, I got this. I got some uh, hard salami as well. A couple slices of hard salami. That, that looks delicious, doesn't it? But, but it doesn't look complete, does it? What, what else do you think it, it might be missing? Oh, you, you know what? I have those right here. I, I have a couple deviled eggs to put on the top as well. And, uh, oh, yeah. And what's it missing? Pickles? Yep, I got some pickles too and, and some pickles and, and maybe some cheese. Let's get some cheese on top of that as well. Oh, man, this is going to be a great sandwich. Uh, let's do some little pepperoncinis as well on top of there. And, and, of course, you need a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. True. And, and anything else that's missing? What do you think this sandwich is missing? Oh, you're right. It needs a, bit, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mayo on there. I, I kind of like mayo a little bit, but not too much mayo, not too much, just a little drizzle right there. And you're right. It also needs a part of me. Do you have any great poupon? Yep, a little great poupon is also going to go really, really, really well on there, but not too much, not too much. And of course, everybody's favorite, you need some anchovies. That's what it was missing. That's what you were saying the whole time, that this sandwich is missing an anchovies. Man, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe a little bit of slice of onion. What do you think? Is it, oh, it's missing some, something still? I mean, I think I have, you're right. You know what it's missing? Bacon. Lots and lots of bacon. How about we do three, three-ish you know what, let's, let's, let's make it this a real sandwich. We'll do that many slices of bacon. And you know what, you, what else is it missing? Oh, yep, that too. I got that too. Don't worry about it. I got a little cheese whiz. Uh, we could put that on top as well here. Oh, there we go. A little cheese whiz on top there. And everybody's favorite, right? Little Hershey syrup, Ooh, little Hershey syrup on there too. It gives us a little bit of a Pow, right? And then, let's see here. What, but it looks like it's missing just one more thing. Any ideas? A little bit of crunch. You're right. That's what I thought, too. It's missing a little bit of a, a crunch. Now, you know what? That looks like a perfect sandwich, ready for any. It's still missing something. Uh, how would I pick it up? Oh, you know what? I know what it's missing. It's missing some bread. Well, well, let's see if we could get the sandwich in between this bread, shall we? Well, let's do it this way. Uh, you're wondering how I'm going to do this. One, two, three, flip. And then we'll go here and let's get ready to eat this delicious sandwich. Well, bread is really the base for any great sandwich, isn't it? It, what holds everything else together, it satisfies our hunger, and, and really it's a source of nourishment as well. But even after eating all of this, I'll probably be hungry again, don't you think? May, maybe sooner than, than I may want to be hungry. See, throughout the Gospel of John, Jesus uses seven I am statements to describe who he is, and, and while some may seem a bit strange to us, like I am the gate, or I'm the good shepherd, I'm the light, or I'm the vine, each of those phrases has a deeper meaning. You know, in our reading for today, Jesus says, I am, you know what, the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. What Jesus is saying here is that just as a bread and food are necessary for life, our spirits also need to be fed as well. When our stomachs are, are empty, we want food that will satisfy that hunger. But when our spirits are empty... Only Jesus can satisfy that hunger that, that we long for and desire. And I know that's, that's a lot to digest. After being without food for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was tempted to turn stones into bread. And he answered, he says, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. 
You see, you see as much as our, our stomachs need food, our, our lives need Jesus even more. So make sure that you make that type of bread a part of your everyday diet. Well, here we go. That's a good sandwich. <laughs> 